hi guys welcome back to another video on pinkman solution and this video is going to be a uh, uh, extended version of our last video where we discussed how to create our own uh, packet sniffer so if you remember in the last video we discussed how we can use the go packet library and uh, a capture packet on our interface going through the network uh, so yeah so in this video what we are going to do we are going to use our same a program which we built in the last video and extend it a, a little bit add some code modification with which we will be able to uh, capture our user credential going through the network so it's not going to be a huge fee video this time it's going to be a short and simple video so without any further ado let's start so before going ahead into the code directly if let me first for discuss what we are going to do so uh, here as you can see we are capturing the packets on the network so first of all we want to know uh, for which application layer for protocol we want to capture the packet so let's say uh, I want to ca ca capture user credential for uh, FTP now we all know FTP works on port 21 so let me just change this filter here to 21 so now with this change I'll be capturing all the packets going through port 21 on my interface now we know FTP runs on port 21 we also know it's a clear text for protocol so there won't be any encryption so no worries for us and now what we want we want uh, uh, in the application layer so in the application layer if we see any string saying user or password we want to capture that and print it in our console so for that we are going to add a little bit of code here uh, so where or just before we print our packets so once uh, we filter our packets who based on that string we will be able to capture the user credential so that's all in all what we are going to do in this video so without any further ado let me jump right into the code so as you can see here we have uh, individual uh, packets in this loop and i am printing those uh, uh, packets directly but now well, let me just grab the application layer uh, for that let me create a new variable app layer and i'm going to just uh, I call this uh, a method application layer with this way essentially return a new structure go packet dot application layer and let's see so what we have inside this application layer and what all things we can do so if I just do app layer dot and we'll see all the methods which we have so we have layer payload layer contents layer type payload so the payload will give you as you can see here a byte of array and a slice of bytes so well, let me just grab the, the payload directly and well, let me store it somewhere let's say in a variable name data so now I, I have the application layer data in this variable data uh, so now the thing only thing for that is remaining is for me is to uh, filter the data uh, or grab or uh, print only that data which has the user uh, I mean the string user or a password and in the FTP protocol if you know uh, when you send your credentials over the login uh, your username and password are captured uh, beside the string user in caps and password in, and pass in caps so I'm going to do exactly uh, the same thing here I'm going to grab those strings so for that what I can do I'll, I'll put an if condition if by uh, dot bytes dot uh, contains so this who contains uh, method will take an uh, slice of bytes and a sub slice so which I want to uh, check uh, whether this byte slice who uh, contains this for uh, sub slice or not if yes for then I'll uh, uh, filter them so let me pass the data slice here first and then for the string slice which I want to filter I'll give byte and uh, here I'll pass the string as user so so essentially I'm converting this string into a uh, byte slice so if our uh, a, a payload contains this user string or our payload contains uh, I'm going to do the similar thing here one more time data comma byte and I'm going to say pass so if uh, my FTP login uh, data contains so FTP if you know is an application layer 
protocol if uh, any of that data contains user string user or password i'm going to go inside the same con if condition and simply print the packet application layer packet uh, or data only not the entire packet so i'll say data and well, let me just convert this to string first so i casted this uh, what did a data payload so which is a a byte slice into string and then i'm printing it simply and i'm going to uh, comment out this last line here so with this uh, little change here one and the port change here we are ready with our a credential sniffer for ftp protocol and similarly if you want to do the same thing for any other protocol let's say http or any other clear test uh, for, for protocol you can do in the same way you just have to change the port here and also you have to identify the string which are for present in the uh, protocol so with this we are done with our program now i'm going to go to our, our terminal and well, let me just quickly build this program and now i'm going to run this sudo packet capture and on the other terminal i'm going to log into my ftp server which is for running locally on my laptop so let me quickly go ahead and type something so as you can see uh, it gives me an option to type the username and password so i'll type something called test and for password i'll say pswrd of course it's not correct uh, the login will fill but so essentially we'll be able to uh, capture those credentials in our other terminal so i have press the enter it says ftp uh, uh, 530 login incorrect but on the other terminal we should be able to see oops we got some error okay Let, let's see what happened something on line 51 <coughs> oh sorry mm. okay let's say uh, so whenever we are capturing packets we need to make sure that our application layer is not empty so if it is nil then i'm simply going to continue for this loop endless loop so now i'll build this again enter let me exit out of this ftp and log in again test password voila we have we have captured our username and a password on this terminal so yeah so that's how you implement uh, a credential sniffer uh, uh, for the plain test uh, protocols uh, by just uh, for modifying few lines of our packet sniffer so yeah uh, go ahead and play with it see what you can implement with this until uh, then see you in the next video uh, bye bye